in detailing of beam we have two major reinforcement that we provide we have the longitudinal reinforcement which usually cater for the bending part of the beam both tension and compression and we also have the links the links usually catered for the shear part of the beam and then if the beam is subjected to torsion we provide additional links to cater for the torsional effect on the beams so therefore in our detailing we are going to be having a minimum of two reinforcement one for the links and then one for the longitudinal reinforcement so the detailing should be done according to the bar marks so if you look at beam one for example we have two different bar marks we have bar mark o1 which represent the links reinforcement you can see that it starts from here usually we denote it with a line where it starts from here using this arrow and ends here this is how we give dimensions or designations to links in beams we first start with the number of the links then we talk about the type of reinforcement and size so here the bar the bar size is 10 mm then we talk about the bar marks and then we talk about the spacing of this reinforcement then in terms of the longitudinal bar what we are interested in is the number of that bar and then the size of the bar and then the bar marks so for beam one the first bar marks we have here is bar mark o1 which is the links so we are going to take o1 as our first reinforcement so here we come under the members we enter beam one then the bar mark of the first reinforcement is one the size of that reinforcement is 10 10 mm so we we put 10 mm here then the total the total of this reinforcement in beam 1 is 22 so we have 22 here so we include 22 in the total then how do we know the total length the total length is calculated from the shape of the reinforcements we measure the dimension of the reinforcement so the vertical dimension is uh 400 here the horizontal dimension is uh 175 and then we also have this hook shape here which is 120 in length so that is how we arrive at this the horizontal dimension even though this is not uh to scale the other dimension is 175 175 at the bottom and top the side dimension is 400 400 and this is the shape of the hook so if you add up all these numbers remember that the hook we have two of it 120 120 so addition of all this number is going to give us the total length in mm because these dimensions are in mm's 